Hey everyone, this is Stan and here it is the update for communities and videos. The ability to create your communities, your courses, your learning management systems, your videos, playlists, etc, etc. So much in this update. So let me do a quick overview and basically how you can create your own social medias within the websites. All right. I will try to be very kind of quick because there was so much to cover and we'll have uh, new academies and new videos about every single aspect. But basically as a white label partner, if you want to enable this setting, it is in the general settings. And this is a brand new area. It is this new header also help you to organize it in a more compact way. But basically in the community, you have the ability to track everybody that joined your communities. The circles where these are actually the communities, we call them circles, the members that can join the communities, that has joined the communities. The moderation of all the posts and walls, the comments, everything you can moderate from here as an admin and the settings of adding the community URL and customize the page template. So creating a circle is very simple. We have templates that we created, but of course you can, as a partner, create as many as you want other templates and we'll be creating more and more. So comment in the, in the, in the section below, what kind of templates for communities and courses do you want us to create? So let us know and we'll create them for you. All right. So here it is one community that we created. Uh, it is, uh, it is a community that can be used for many, many different things, but basically we have this is the community area. Now on the top, we have the circle settings. Here is the whole community settings, such as what is the name, what kind of things you want to show, the access levels, if it's paywalls, if it's logged in members, if it's open to everybody, enrollment required, if you need people to click a button to join the community, different categories, you can also style everything. You can style it to look however you want, compact, white. If you want people to start with a compact view and then expand it, you have this ability to customize everything, such as if you want it to be dark team, light team, if you want it to be with an image, with an icon, so you can play around and fully customize the looks of your communities. You can also see the analytics, like in the, in the dashboard, so you can see all the members who joined and the content that has been completed. In this case, we have one person who completed it all, that's why it has 100% completion rate. And if you have any payments, also what is the payment rate? Now, here on the site, we do have the, um, the navigation and the content area. Just like a website, you can drag and drop elements to any page and customize it however you want. We also have the settings of the page itself and what kind of things you want to have. Again, you have access levels. You have here, on the other hand, we have the drip. So when this content will be available on this particular page, maybe after a specific time, after completion of another page or course or a scheduled time. So you can again, customize how and when the content will be available. We also have analytics about the page itself and how it is performing. So this is it. This is the uh, a community and what kind of controls do you have there? Now, in this case, we do have some videos on the first page, a course, which is a group. And here it is the time to say that you have two things that you can create in a community. It's the pages and the groups. The groups are basically for organizational purpose only. And you can do basically settings on a whole bunch of pages at once. And in this case, we have a course, uh, which is a group, and it has three pages inside of it. And each page has, in this particular case, tracking enabled. That's why they have this check mark uh, possibility. So this is for you if you have a course and you want people to mark what they completed, and you can track the progress of people this way. And you can use it for also releasing content. And then here is the fun part, which is the community elements of the whole functionality. And you can add these new elements, these new widgets to any page, uh, which is in this case, the walls, the discussions, the reviews, the comments, the circles. In this case, this is the wall. Uh, here are the posts. So you can create posts like any social media with great uh, interesting reactions that you'll see in a moment. Uh, polls, comments, reactions, everything that you can imagine. You have discussions in this template as well, which is for communication like Slack and, um, and Discord messaging. Uh, and you have some other things like forum, for example, is a multiple wall with just a different format and how it looks. And here we have the ability with this circle widget here, circles, which allows you to list all the circles, all the communities available within your website so people can access different communities within one place. So let me show you how it looks. 
So here it is from a user's perspective. We are already logged in. Uh, that's why we have the ability to actually react and, and do any type of interaction with the content. Otherwise, it will ask us to log in to be able to, let's say, leave a comment, mark something as complete, uh, react. Anything that you want to do, you have to be logged in member to do that. Another cool thing is we also have notifications, which is the ability for people, let's say, when they mention you, when they reply to your comments, react, or if you have some store updates, they will be added here. So it's a very, very cool way, and you can click and actually uh, go to that specific uh, event. And you can also receive emails if you haven't read your notifications within 20 minutes. If you haven't done it, you'll receive an email, so that will drive more interaction with your communities. All right, so now on the side we have the courses. We can go to a course, we can see that we have completed it, but we can uncomplete it and you can see different ways that you have reducing the completion rate. Uh, but we also have here completion required for this page. Uh, in order to, to access it, you have to complete course one. So you can go there, complete it, and then only then you'll be able to access this video now. So you can do different ways of dripping content in such manner. Here it is the communities, uh, the walls that you can create, start creating posts. So it's very simple, very easy. So let's create a new post, uh, post two, let's say, with some text. You can add an image, you can add a poll, next, and you can select what kind of a reaction you want to have. If you want it to be a, a rating, a up and down, thumbs up, thumbs down, basically, or, or a reaction. So let's go with, with this option. And here it is now people can come upvote or downvote your post, whatever that is. Here you can, of course, you know, answer to different uh, polls. You can reply, you can have different interactions with it. You, whatever you want, you can do with these communities. And the great thing is that that all interaction is also tracked into the CRM. And I'll show you in a second. Then we have the discussions. Again, chat-like communication. You have the threads, you have mentions. It's really, really cool because you can click and go to a specific uh, thread or post or whatever in a specific notification. So in this case, we already there, but yeah, we can click and see that we are mentioned in a specific post. So this way you can interact with notifications, with posts, with discussions. Here we have recordings, here we have a forum, which we already have access to, and we here we can explore other communities that are available. We can go there, see if this is paid, so you can click and purchase access to this new community that we have inside of our website. So this is how simple it is. And now with this, we can see the, the conversions, the completions, because we already have not completed course three. We can see that now the whole course is not complete itself. And you can see that information for every user within their profile. So this is a brand new area called community. And in that area, you can see that you can uh, you can track how many circles they have entered, when is their join date, completion rates, revenue, tracked content, paid content. And in this case, the forum was actually a paid, paid content, and we gave that person manually access. So you can actually give access manually if you want to some people without them having to purchase something. And in this case, we remove the access. And if now we'll see if you try to access the forum area, it will ask us to pay the $10 fee. So this way you can interact with your users and what uh, they can do and how they can do it. Now, what else is possible is you can also assign different roles. So for every user, you have three roles, basically. It's a member, it's community moderator and community admin. And based on that, you can have different permissions who can delete content, for example, different posts uh, or comments. They, they can also, um, you know, have certain permissions with only posting and doing stuff on the community. So this is how simple it is and also the ability to assign to different uh, different uh, circles if they paid you some other way or or you have a different agreement. You can do and organize this this content like that. All this content is being uh, recorded here. You can see it in the dashboard for all your circles, all your members, all your moderations. Another cool thing is that we have in the CRM uh, the activities. So when a user did something, it will be recorded here into the activities. Like we just, you know, voted with a cherry into that, uh, into that um, 
pole, so it is now tracked here. We have an abandoned cart, uh, like a few year, uh, hours ago. We have videos that we started playing and completed when they reached their uh, end limit. We'll be discussing in more details about all these activities, but also these are uh, automation actions. So uh, when you create an automation, now you have the option to have different triggers, which are part of the social um, interactions, such as reaction to a post, answer to a poll, video has started, video portion was watched, if they reached a specific point or if they completed, meaning watched a whole video, reached the end of it. So you can use those as activities right now working. So this is how simple it is to create, organize and customize your communities, your courses and your areas. Something really cool is that we also made everything to be very mobile responsive. So if you preview something on a phone, it works kind of like an application that we made it. So here it is our home page, and we have the notifications on the side. We have the home. We have the the, the menu where you can actually see all the different uh, you know menu items uh, that were on the side, and you can access them and go to a specific course, let's say. And you can also open the area of the user. So there you can find you know orders, details, addresses, etc. So very simple, very easy, but very I think useful for people using from their phone. Something really cool that also we added is in the profiles uh, of the users. And when you click on somebody's profile, uh, you can actually see information about them. There we have the avatar, the name, uh, certain links that you can add into your profile and a description of yourself. This information you can all find within here in your memberships. You can change the avatar and you can also change the description and the social media links or links and general links. So this way you can customize and make your more personalized profiles here. In the future, there'll be more things that you can do. You can probably message and, and do more interactions with them, having ranks, etc. cetera. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're just getting started with the awesome stuff into the platform. So this is it, how simple it is to create your communities. Now, another cool thing is obviously the videos. The videos, they're so, so cool and powerful, in my opinion. Uh, basically, we have introduced a new widget. It's the playlists. And the video widget was reworked with the ability to upload. So now we are using Amazon to encode everything, to compress it, to make it secure so nobody can download your videos, for example, by using chunks. And it is using different resolutions based on the devices that you're using so that the bandwidth is very low or as low as possible and yet have a great uh, great resolution and um, and quality. So now here we have the video manager. There you can create your folders and organize your, uh, your videos. So you can select a video, add it, and you have analytics about each video. What is the engagement rate? Here we don't have anything uh, as views. That's why it has zero engagement. Uh, but if we had, uh, yeah, you would definitely see it. So here, for example, we have one view. We can go to the analytics and we can see the engagement and when they dropped out. So this is how uh, you can organize your videos. And in each video, you have different settings, such as categories that you can assign to the videos, video chapters, so you can go in a specific place uh, is, is a specific chapter of the video. We'll have a whole video dedicated on how to use videos, uh, captions, analytics, uh, sharing, deleting videos, etc. So you have also different things such as looping videos. If you want to have some, you know, some part of the video to be playing for engagement, you can select five seconds of the video. You can remove controls, auto play, loop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And yeah, it's very simple, very easy. You can also show manual watched if you want to manually mark this video as watched. That would trigger some kind of an uh, action on the back end. And then we have also the playlists. The playlists are really powerful because they allow you to have not just a single video, but a grid of videos or a video with sidebar. So something like this, like a whole playlist. Uh, so you can select which videos you want to have. So you can select a whole folder, the videos will be added, and you, people can choose and go automatically to the next video when they're complete, for example, or have it as a grid. It depends on what you're trying to do. So for example, if you have it as a grid, when you go and preview, when you click on a video, the video will play actually in a pop-up. And there is two different ways to show this pop-up, but people can start commenting, they can start you know, interacting with it, uh, and it's it's bigger uh, way that you show it. And here it is now the looping interaction that you can click then and start you know, playing. It's just in driving engagement this way. 
So these are the videos, really powerful, really fast. You can start encoding and have very, very optimized and great videos for mobile and any devices. So this is the update. I uh, hope that you enjoy. There will be so many different new things coming to the platform. Every few days, there will be new updates with new features that we have prepared or that we are currently working on to enrich the ecosystem. So let us know in the comments below what do you think of these awesome new features coming to the platform.